Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. As you can see, I got my new scrapbooking mug. It's all about the memories. You can check that out at the StampersDelightShop.com, the apparel shop. Hop on, say hi. Let me know you're, where you're watching from and also if it's your first time watching. A couple of new things. I have the February Fun Fold class, and that is with the Lighter Than Air. And for February, you can actually add on six more cards using the Ice Cream Swirl. You will need the bundles, those are not included, but the links will all be below when I am done with the video. Also, there is that scrapbooking mug, and you can also get sweatshirts, t-shirts. So we didn't wanna leave out the scrapbookers. So let's get started. Let me have a sip of coffee. Mm. Hello, Jennifer, Lori, Wynn, Ann. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so I'm gonna flip my camera. You can see I have that new glass studio here, and you can get that by joining my team and stamping up during celebration. It is absolutely wonderful, I have to tell you. I love it. Here's my host code for the month, and again, all the links will be below. So for today, the fun fold that I'm going to be doing is using the Poetic Expressions, and that is on page 60 and 61. I also use that for my January, <clears throat> excuse me, my January Fun Fold class. So you probably saw these on uh, Facebook or my blog. Same card using the different uh, dies that come with that suite. Just gives it a little bit of different look. That's pretty cool. Okay, so for the Fun Fold today, I'm going to grab my little packet here. And I'm going to pull out what I need. And again, this will be the free downloadable PDF when I am done in my newsletter. So don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter <clears throat> and you will get that. I'll send that out later today. So it gives everybody a chance to sign up for the newsletter. Okay. So I am good. This is a double gatefold card. So I'm going to take a piece of um, five and a half by, what is that? Five and a half by four and a quarter. <laughs> I can't think this morning. No, I'm sorry. Five and a half by eight and a half. Duh. All right. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer because we're going to do some scoring. Now, one of the things you can do, some people like to just fold it like this. But if you're going to score it, you're going to score each end at two and an eighth. So there's the two inch mark. There's the two and an eighth. Sometimes it overlaps a little bit, so that's why some people like to fold it instead of scoring it. Either way will work. And again, the directions in the downloadable PDF will be on my blog and my whoop, newsletter later. I got so much stuff on this crafting desk. And then I am going to fold that in where the other score line is. It's hard to see under these lights. Let's do it this way. Hey, Karen. Hi, Mary Ellen and Holly. Okay, so I did that pretty close. Close enough. You can play with it a little bit. Get it to where you want. Use your bone folder to get nice, crisp edge. Okay, so that's the base of the card. Then what you're going to want to do is you are going to need three pieces of this. So you're going to need, you're going to take two. You're going to need three. That's for the inside. These two pieces are already cut down at four by five and a quarter. What I'm going to do with those is I am going to score both of those right in half. So at the two inch mark. And again, bringing that in and folding it, getting a nice crisp edge. And you can also tighten that up if you have to. My fingers aren't working this morning. There we go. Give it a nice crisp edge. 
And same thing with this one. Okay, these are gonna actually go like that. So the next thing I'm gonna bring in is four pieces of designer series paper, which are one and three quarters by five. And you can see I have different designer series paper. So we're gonna start with these two and we are just going to add some stamp and seal here. And we're gonna add that right there with just a little bit of white edge. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. And we're gonna add that right here. So there you have those two pieces. You're gonna open those up and you're gonna take coordinating paper and do the inside. So I'm gonna add that right in here. And I'm going to add this one right in here. There we go. Okay, now I have these two pieces. I'm going to bring in my boho blue. That's the color that I'm using right now. I do have another sample to show you. And I am going to grab that stamp from that stamp set. Sometimes there are no words in the blue. Look at my handshake this morning. So pretty. I'm also going to bring in this little flower and I'll add that right there. And I'm going to add one right here. Okay, so those are those pieces. Now I'm going to bring this back in. I'm going to fold that and I am going to glue this down to this panel. There we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. So making sure that, did I do it upside down? No. Thought I did it upside down there for a minute. Okay, I'm going to take that panel and we are going to line that up, have a little of that boho blue showing, and there is a double gatefold. So it opens this way, then it opens this way. Okay, then what I'm going to bring in is a couple of pieces here. So these are using the dies to that sweet. And then I have these two pieces. And I'm gonna bring in the first one. And I'm gonna take that beautiful bird and grab my memento if it's here. Uh, I don't see my memento. Why don't I see moment, my memento here? Oh, there it is. It's hidden. You might hear some screeching, that's my chair, which I am trying to get used to using. It's better for my neck and my back. We are going to ink that up. And I am going to put that right in the center. Beautiful little bird. I'm going to bring in some colors here. I'm going to bring in some blends. And I am going to leave that up there for a second. I'm going to bring in my dark pecan pie. And let's see, how do I want to color this? I think I'm just going to do these guys. Let me make sure I'm in here. Hi, Darcy. I'm going to just add some dark here to the feathers. I'm going to take the light. This is a small area, so I'm using the bullet or nubby end. I 
Don't forget to leave comments. Give me a thumbs up. Definitely share this video with your friends and let them know they can get the free downloadable PDF also. Okay, I'm gonna put a little brown eye there. I'm gonna bring in, uh, let's see, I think this is my bubble bath. Yes, this is my bubble bath. I'm gonna bring in the dark bubble bath. And I am going to, whoop, up here, add some dark. And I'm going to do a little on his little head. It's freezing in Minnesota. I'm sure it is. Not too bad here in New York today. I'm going to go ahead with the light and just blend that up. I'm, now I'm using the painter edge or painter part of that. And now I'm going to bring in the boho blue, the dark, and I outline some of that with the dark. You can also do light to dark. I do dark to light. And then just blend that up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we are going to put this on top of this one. And for this, I'm going to use dimensionals. Of course, the um, blends do bleed through because they're alcohol markers, but they're probably my favorite markers to use. You love hummingbirds? Who doesn't love hummingbirds? This is the first year that I put a little hummingbird feeder out. And oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to line that up. There we go. Okay. I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to put this one right here. Now I want a little bit of a oomph so it can close. So I'm going to add three dimensionals right here. Close that up, and I'm going to put my bird right here. Okay. Now this one, I am going to take the flower with my memento. Thinking that up to the side here. And I'm just going to place that right here. Let's move that out of the way. Didn't quite get it the way I liked it in there, but that's all right. I'm going to be coloring it. So, <clears throat> again, with the dark bubble bath. This is the dark, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. I'm going to just trace some of that. I go in here. Put a lot of dark in there. I'm going to bring in the light. And I think I'll use the painter side. Thank you. You like this card? It's so easy to make this double gatefold card. And it's so pretty. We're going to just leave that right there. Going to bring in the dark. Oop, got the painter edge, but that's all right. Put some dark blue in here. And then color that in. I use whatever side I open to tell you the truth. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm going to now bring in some Lost Lagoon <clears throat> and do the leaves. So let's see. I have the dark. So let's start with the dark. Now these little leaves are very small. So I'm not going to be doing too much blending here. I'm just going to add a little dark Lost Lagoon. Push 
push that towards the light. These, I'm going to add some dark Lost Lagoon to the veins of the leaves. You can see I'm not being real fussy with this because it's all going to blend together. And then I'm going to bring in the light. Now, those are really small, so I definitely want the bullet end or nubby end, and I'm going to blend that all up. I'm also going to go right outside there and grab those pieces. I'm going to put some green back here. It may be part of the flower, but I want the flower to stand out. So by adding some of that Lost Lagoon back there, it definitely makes it stand out more. Okay. Did I get them all? There we go. Okay. Now this one I'm going to lay flat. Remember, this one had the dimensionals on it. This one I'm going to lay flat. I don't want it too puffy. So I am going to bring in my stamp and seal and add that flower right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my card and I'm going to lay it like this. This one is actually going to go right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some stamp and seal just to one edge. I am going to line it up to this one. I kind of want that straight, but let's see, right, right about here. Okay, there's the glue, so I have to go with the glue. So I'm lining that up so you won't really see too much of it. You'll just see the outer edges. Now let's see if I got that. There we go. Got a little bit of glue there, but I'll take that off. So then when you fold the card, it goes like this. So the double gatefold, open it like that like this and this you can put another sentiment or sign the card there and then they open it here but of course and you can also add some more <clears throat> designer series paper there if you want <clears throat> I'm gonna grab your in my thoughts for the inside grabbing that little flower again Go with that And there you have a double gatefold. I am going to decorate it now, but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, I think I want some more designer series paper on there. Let's see, I have two, do I have two strips? I have these two strips left. I think I'm gonna cut those down. So as you can see, I'm changing it already. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these two leftover strips to two inches. Order. I think I want the designer series paper in there. What do you think? And two inches. Let's make sure that's got two inches. It's just a hair that has to come off. <clears throat> Five and a quarter. So I changed my card already. I do have another one to show you, so you'll see that. I'm going to go ahead and add the glue here. <clears throat> And I am going to add that right there. Oh, yeah, I like that better. You'll see the other one where I didn't add it. Thank you, Jude. And we're going to add that right there. You could actually flip it that way if you wanted to. So we're going to go with that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use those gems that come with the sweet. Now those are loose gems. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this first. I'm gonna bring in liquid glue and I'm using my glue press from My Sweet Petunia. I like this because you can put, you put your Tombow in here, okay? It comes with one that's already filled with Novo, I guess it is. But then there's an empty one and I fill that with my Tombow. And it comes with two different nozzles. I like this because it's easier on my hands. I'm going to add a little glue right here, a little glue right here, and right here. 
I'll just put three of those on for now. Grab my take your pick tool and I'll pick up a couple of these. And they have different sizes. I'm just gonna grab whichever one comes on my take your pick tool. <laughs> this one doesn't wanna turn around. Oh, come on. All right, we're just gonna grab another one. There we go. And one more. I'm trying to grab a little one. There we go. Now, when you use liquid glue, if it looks like it's showing through, don't worry about it. It dries clear. I'm going to close those up because I know I will mess it up. I am going to bring in our silver and white <coughs> ribbon. I'm going to make a bow. Grabbing the tail and the ears, as I call them. And fixing that so the way I want it I'm gonna just cut this off close this back up and then I'm gonna put the bow right here so you can still see the little the hummingbird I'm gonna make the bow a little bit smaller I'm gonna turn that over Add some of my stamped and seal because that's how I like to put my bows on. And we're going to add that right here. And then you can trim the ribbon. I kind of like the ribbon longer here. So there you have the hummingbird. Oh, thank you. Darcy says she can't make to can't wait to make one of these cards. And then, of course, I'm going to grab some Winkastella. Make sure I grab the right one that has this one. Yep. And I'm just going to add some shimmer. I think I need a new one. I go through a lot of Winkastella. Let me grab the other one. I think it's got a little bit more juice in it. Let's do the flower. Oh, yeah. There we go. You go through a lot of Winkastella? I do. And there we have the double gatefold. Now we're going to grab an envelope, and I have to open some new ones. And we're just going to stamp that. I do have another, like I said, I have another one to show you. Well, let's move that out of the way for a second. I am going to grab the little flower and add that. So now I have a matching envelope for my gatefold card. So let me show you the same idea with a different color. This one is with the Moody Mauve, and you can see the ribbon is on the other side. I'll bring it up so you can see it. And still shots will be on my blog and also on my newsletter later today. Opens up the same way. And this one, you see that I didn't put those designer series paper inside. Which one do you like better? Do you like the, with the designer series paper inside here too? I think I do. So that is the same card in a different color. All right, let's do a card on the fly, maybe. So for this card, what I did was I took one of our <clears throat> um, new card bases. Let me just pull this out. And that is on page 15, I think it is. I think it's on 15. Let's take a look. Yeah, these new cards, the gold foiled cards, flowered cards and envelopes, they come together, but I like to cut them in half because this would be the whole side, the whole card. But that backside to me is a waste. So what I do is I cut it in half and cut it down to four and a quarter, um, four by five and a quarter. And then I layer it on to wild wheat. Now this one you can see is embossed with gold 
embossing powder. Now I have this piece left over. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. Make sure, and cut this down to four. Now you'll need an extra envelope when you do that because you only have the one envelope to those cards. I'm gonna bring in a piece of wild wheat. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that for now in half. Move this out of the way. And use my bone folder. I'm gonna close up my blue because I'll get it all over my hands. I'm gonna grab, let's see, do we have wild wheat? Wild wheat to me looks like gold. Whoop. Okay. I'm gonna add that right on top of there. I love these cards. And these are also great for new stampers because your card is already made for you. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. Now what I've done is I've cut out some gold glitter. This is the more dazzle, and this was our gold glitter on, for the online exclusives. And I grabbed the other dies, and I'm just gonna see which one I wanna use. Okay, that's the glittery one. And then this is the more dazzle one. I'm not sure which one I wanna use. So if you're watching, tell me which one you like better. Oh, I don't know. I think I like that more dazzle one. So we're going to go with that. Okay, we're going to take this and the wild wheat. I am going to grab where in the world would I be without you? I am going to clean off my stamp. Now this is the chamois that comes with the glass mat studio. I'm going to use that because I have it right here and it's wet. I'm going to ink that up and grab a piece of blotter paper. It's going to go off a little bit. Doesn't look like gold. I am gonna go ahead and glue that right on here. I'm gonna glue that flat with my stamp and seal. Put that right there. Oh, you like the dazzle paper too. Yeah, I did too. And then we're gonna go with some dimensionals here. We'll stick one right in the middle too. Just to make sure it stays. Whoop, well, as close to the middle as it decided it wanted to go there, so we'll leave it there. I'm gonna bring that right in here. I'm gonna grab our gold satin ribbon. Make a bow. I like to start with a larger bow and go smaller. It's easier for my hands to tie. And then just make it smaller. All right. I'm gonna put this one on the side here. I don't wanna cover up my words. Again, I'm gonna flip that around. Grab some glue here. Definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook. And please share my videos. If you case my card, that's wonderful. Tag me in it so I can see what you've done. There we go. And again, I'm going to bring in these gems. Hi, Molly. Thank you. And I'm going to add a few of those gems on here. Looking for my 
take your pick tool with the edge. I have both here. There it is. So I don't have to keep switching the ends. We'll grab that one. And we'll grab this one. Let's see if we can, oh, I can grab a smaller one right there. Let that dry. <clears throat> and this piece, I've already, I, I did um, emboss that ahead of time. Okay. But as you can see, it's embossed to go this way. So we're not using that one. <laughs> we're going to grab another piece of very vanilla. What was I thinking? Close those up. I'm going to use the wild wheat. Put that right there. And you can see it actually looks gold. It almost looks a little embossed, doesn't it? And I'm going to add that to the inside of my card. Now, I'm not putting a sentiment in here because this is where I would write my own message. So, again, for this one that I did earlier with the gold foil, I have a blank envelope. And this one has that beautiful edging. I am going to put something on the front of the envelope. So, we'll use the wild wheat. And, again, bringing in a piece of blotter paper... I'm just going to go like that. So the front of my card, or the front of my envelope, also has something on it. And then bringing back in the one that I embossed earlier, we're going to go ahead and put something on that envelope. Remember, no naked envelopes. So there we go. And I'm even going to do the lip. There we go. You used a lot of wild wheat for Christmas. Yeah, it does look like gold. So there is that card. I'll bring them all in. Here is the one with the dazzle paper. I'd love to know which one is your favorite. Put it in the comments. Here we go with the double gatefold in the moody mauve. And then, of course, the one we did in the boho blue. Which color do you like better? Yeah, I definitely like more paper in there. And then, of course, the two that I put on... Whoop! Got some. See, this is why I have to close this up. And then these two, same card, different dies. Let me just show you what happened just now. I didn't close up my ink, and there I got it. I messed up my card because I got a little ink there. So, how to fix that? We're going to put a nice wad of glue there. Going to open those gems back up. I'm going to grab a large one and put that right on my blob of ink. There we go. Problem solved. Right? There you go. The boho blue is your favorite. But you like them all. Thank you, Darcy. I hope you enjoyed today's video in Fun Fold Friday. Definitely give it a try because I think um, it's really easy to do. And I'll have the... Um, downloadable PDF on there shortly. So you still have time to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page and the newsletter. Just give me a couple minutes. I'll have that link put up there for you. And um, later this afternoon, you'll be able to download the PDF. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. 
And if you have any questions, just put them in the chat and I will answer them. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week and keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.